Lesson 1.8, count and order to five. In this lesson, we use counting order of numbers to five. Here we have some columns of cubes. Columns go up and down like a tower, and each column has a different number of cubes. And the numbers are in counting order with the shortest one first. One, two, three, four, five. Each column has one more. Two is one more than one. We can see it's one taller. And the three is one more than the two. We can see there's one more here. And four is one more than three. We can see there's one more. And five is one more than four. We can see there's one more. Together they look like stairs. And counting order is how we count. One, two, three, four, five. Here we have some cubes and they're going off to the side. They're in rows. We have one, two, three, four, five. A row goes across to the side like a train and each row has a different number of cubes. The numbers are in counting order with the shortest row first up here. Each row has one more. We can see this is one more than this one. This is one more than this one. See how each one is one more? They also look like stairs, don't they? They look like we could go right upstairs. So a row goes across just like a train. Counting order is the order we count. We have zero, that means we don't have any. Then there's one, two, three, four, five. These numbers are in counting order. Here we have some school supplies. We need to put them in counting order from one to five and write the number. I can see there are two books, one, two, three scissors, one, two, three, four, five bottles of glue. There's one crayon and one, two, three, four boxes of crayons. If we put them in counting order, one should be first. We've got a one. We can write one. In counting order, do you know what would come next? If you said the two books, you're right. Two would come next. Two books. We can write two. Now what comes next? We have one, two. Do you know what the next number is? If you said three, you're right. And we have one, two, three scissors. We can write three. Now what comes next? One, two, three. If you said four, you're right. And we have four boxes of crayons. We can write the number four. And we have five bottles of glue. One, two, three, four, five. You can write the five. One, two, three, four, five. We put them in counting order and we wrote the number. Here we've got cards with numbers on them. We have one and then we've got three empty spaces and then a five. We need to put these cards in the correct space so the numbers are in counting order. Do you know which card should go here? Should we put the four, the two, or the three? If you said the two, you're right. One, two. Do you know what goes here? 
if you said the three, you're right. We have one, two, three. This must be the four. One, two, three, four, five. We put them in counting order. Here we have a lot of apples. We have one apple. Here we have one, two apples. Here we have one, two, three apples. Here we have one, two, three, four apples. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. We have one, two, three, four, and five. Emma has one more apple than two. Circle Emma's apples. So which group of apples has one more than two? Here's two. The group that has one more. If you said this one, you're right. We need to circle this one. There's one more than two. There's three. Three apples would be one more than two apples. So remember a column goes up and down like a tower and a row goes across like a train. And you can practice putting numbers in order. Our next lesson, 1.9, we're gonna talk about the number zero. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I hope you'll join me. Bye.